Welcome back to Pixel Village and I am Radha Krishnan. We live in a connected world. Being connected is the mantra. If you are not connected, you can be a stranger in your own home. Because these days you talk to each other with your brother and sister through your mobile phones. You send a, they may be sitting on the same sofa, but you will send a WhatsApp message to the other person and you expect him to reply. And that's how you communicate with each other these days. And a mobile phone has become an integral part of everyone's day-to-day -day life and it's not a secret at all. Anyone with a hundred rupee worth data and a mobile phone can these days talk to the world. And going live is one of the most accepted and popular way of connecting with your community. While the mobile phone comes with its own advantages, it also has a few disadvantages. Uh, the primary ones being the image quality and second one is the ability to hold on to the network, the data throughput. But what if you want to interact with your community in a professional way, using a professional camera? Well, solutions existed. Till very recently, those solutions would mean that you carry slightly large equipments with you which had slightly complicated protocols in it to achieve high quality live imaging. Well, not any longer. In Pixel Village, when we wanted to start our live program, the Pixel Village Live, which we started recently, we were looking for solutions. We did not have big money to spend on that, but we were sure, we were determined that we will either have a good quality video or will not have it at all. And luck by chance, we came across this brand. Go Solo from Live View. Well, Live View also have lots of other very high quality, top of the line products for the broadcast industry, which has actually put, almost put the OB vans out of business. Now this one is a very compact unit, which will allow you to use, of course, data network to go live. Live View, let's look at what the product is. Now I've taken it already out of the box and no magic this time and this is the product it's a nice compact one Let me explain how it works. Very simple, not too many dials, one on off switch and one selection switch. I'll go through it uh, in detail later, but this works either through a Wi-Fi network or a direct uh, LAN connection or some models have built in two modems, not one, two modems inside or it can work with dongles, data dongles, connected physically to the device for more efficient throughput or they have a patented technology called the LRT, Live View Reliable Transport, which allows you to bind all these six networks together to give you an optimum data transmission so that your image quality at no point drops below the desired level. It also comes with a carrying pouch with a clip in the back. You can put the device inside and you can clip it onto your belt. The camera gets connected using an HDMI cable. So to the HDMI port, to the HDMI port and you are ready to go. This HDMI port also can be an input from a live mixer, which means you can actually go live with multiple camera angles too. So let me put this guy into this pouch, put all these dongles together and come back and show it to you how it looks. Then we will switch it on and I'll take you through the steps and tell you how you can go live using the Go Solo. So 
this is how it looks uh, once it is all connected. So, we need to power it on to explain uh, how it functions. This device is powered by an internal rechargeable battery which can last about 2 hours. In case if you need more power, of course, two options, one to carry a battery with you. The ba internal battery is not replaceable. You need to carry an external power source or a charged battery. Both can be connected using the DC input here. The interface is very simple and it can be controlled using one joystick and one on off button. Let me switch it on. So long press the on off switch and it starts loading. So this device takes a little bit of time to start up. So we need to wait till it's ready. Okay, now the device is ready. So I think it took about close to two, two and a half minutes to come on, which means uh, you can't expect to switch on and go live instantly. You need to plan it, be ready with it so that you can go live, okay? Now, once it is live, the first job is to configure the network. If you are using a Wi-Fi, use this toggle switch here to go inside. It's currently con already configured to our internal uh, Wi-Fi. If you want to sign into a network, you can go in, it will search and it'll tell you which are the networks available nearby. And uh, yeah, if you want to sign in, you can use your password to sign into that particular network. Once it is signed in, the device remembers uh, the password. I'm going to exit from it because I have already signed in to our network, which is called Village Net. The other one is this 3G. The next is the this 3G. And uh, this device doesn't have a built-in modem, so that is uh, not being shown. The dongles are automatically identified. You don't have to use a passcode or a login ID. So technically, this device now is ready. This unit cannot directly interact with the CDNs. CDN is the content delivery networks. You actually will require an interface which is provided by Live U to in turn deliver that to your CDN. The first thing you have to do is to sign into your Wi-Fi, connect your dongles. If there is a modem, connect and sign into your modem network. Once that is done, you have to register the product first. This is already registered like I said, but I'll show you how it is done. So for which I will require a computer. Okay, so the place that you have to go is solo.liveu dot tv so if you are a new user use this new user option to register yourself once you have registered then you can sign in i am already registered so i'm going to sign in using my registered id and password you have to wait a while the system identifies you then the portal start talking to this system because now this guy is online Okay, it has identified this is my system which is already registered. For a new user, you will be asked to add your solo. So once you click on that add solo option, you will be taken through a series of uh, you know menus and dialog boxes which you can fill. It's very easy. Serial numbers are available, so all the details are available. You sign in and system will identify and register it. Once registered, you don't have to repeat this step. You can straight away start using uh, your device. Uh, all you have to do is to log in. Now, this is my registered system here. This is the status. Now, status and LRT. So, this is the technology which they have called the Live View Reliable Transport which is a patented technology, which is currently, the first year probably is free. There is some offer going on now. The first year is free, it's bundled along with the sale. But the second year onwards, it's on subscription basis. There's a particular fee for it. 
if you don't have an LRT, you, the system will still work, but it will not be able to bind. Like I said earlier, it will not be able to bind multiple networks. Well, then in, in such cases, you will have to depend on one network, which is also possible if your network is strong enough. You need to select a nearby zone for you know the communication. I was advised to take the Singapore. Uh, we will come to graphics later we need to add a destination. So click on destination. You will be given a whole lot of options to go live with. Facebook, YouTube and so many other options available too. Now live view will allow you by default to stream only to one destination like either to a Facebook or YouTube or any of these locations that is in your screen. But if you want to simultaneously stream to multiple locations, of course, then you have to use, let's say something like Switchboard. Create an account there, Live View will deliver it there and you have to further create your targets from that location. So that option too is available. In our case, we're going to use uh, Facebook. So let me add Facebook. So I have already signed in on my Facebook. I say, okay. So we are now in the Facebook configuration page. The first option is to give it a title. Uh, it's very important because if you don't put in a title, the submission will not happen. Go solo demo. Video description, test profile is 1280 720 which is the highest resolution which uh, Facebook allows you. In case if you are in YouTube, you will be able to go live in Full HD. This device is capable of going live in Full HD. Where to stream? Well, you can stream to your profile or to the pages associated with that page. Remember, we signed into the profile first. So if you are going to go live in your profile, then you have a privacy option. Uh, you can go live to your predefined group of people, friends or only me. And if you are going to the page, of course, you will not have that privacy option. You will be straight away taken to the Facebook page uh, and you will be live instantly. But you have an option called preview, which means you can see a small window on your screen here, right here, or there's a small preview screen right here too for you to check things out. That's available. But since I have to show it to you through a screen record, I can't obviously go to the page because once I go to the page, of course, the world will see what we're doing. There's no privacy available there. Also, if you are going live onto your page, you can schedule it. Uh, you can schedule, upload an image so that that image is shown to your uh, audience till you go live. You can schedule a date, you can schedule the time of the telecast and uh, that's it. And once you schedule it, a window will appear on your page announcing and uh, counting down to the live event. So I'm going to opt for the profile and I'm going to say only me. Publish mode, of course, preview and live both are available. I'm going to say live because I, I don't mind. I can just go live because it's going to be visible only to me. I'm going to be using a live stream from these cameras here, which means whatever that you're seeing now, I like to, you know, put it through live solo onto my live feed. Tag people. In case if you want to tag someone, of course, you can tag them here. Video tags, if you want to put some tags for the video that you're doing, say live view demo, whatever, you can do that. Location. Location, where are you? So we are in Pixel Village. So it says, it found Pixel Village and I'm Pixel Village. Post control, it'll ask you if you want to prohibit embedding. Audience restrictions, if you have any audience restrictions, you can restrict them by age and you can include or exclude locations. 
Okay, so I'm going to include here Pune. So it'll search and tell you Pune, Maharashtra, India. And I want to exclude, let's say, Mumbai. Okay, Mumbai, Maharashtra. I can even pick places from Mumbai if I want to selectively exclude a particular region within Mumbai. So I'm going to say the entire Mumbai. I don't want Mumbai to see this. So no Mumbai. Remember, this is currently a private only me one. But in case if I'm going public, well, this will not be visible. It's a, it's a typ very, very typical uh, Facebook control that you have. In case if you have any branded content, that can go here. Once this is done, you can submit. Again, it will take a little bit of time through the portal. It'll interact with this device. Once it is all done, it'll say solo unit configured successfully. Now, the next stage is to add graphics onto it. That's something which you don't have a facility of in your mobile phone. Now, there are lots of standard templates available. Now, all those standard templates are, you know, they are not radical. I mean, they are not extremely, you know, exciting to use. But however, you can pick one. Once you pick one, you can decide what you want to work with. You want to add something else. So let me pick this one. Okay, this is pretty... Uh, save it as entertainment basic. Uh, are you sure you want to select this composition? I'm going to say yes. So once that composition is selected, it will go to your saved list of graphics. That will appear here. And using this button, you can fine tune that graphics. Okay, so that graphics will open up like a small editing console. Very simple. And you have to keep adding those elements which was there in that graphics. You can add a background, you can add a baseline static. So you click on baseline statics. That's a baseline statics here. This is the preview window. And once you start playing it, it will go into this out window. So this is what will appear here. Now this black is the mat. That's where your image is going to come in. Uh, you can you can fine tune this instead of live view. You edit this to say, all right, this is the, this is, let this remain as live view. Go solo update. Here, this icon can be replaced here. You can actually add another uh, icon here. Now these graphics are not very flexible. I think I mentioned that earlier. Uh, there are some fixed templates. You need to work within it. I want to add something of my own here. Uh, my logo here, it's an option. Say panel, left, right, left, text image, upper, right, one line I can add. I can add or something on upper right. He says, FB live and say update. Okay, FB live pixel value. I think this is fine. I'm going to stay with it. You can add, delete, modify according to your requirement. And once this is done, say update. So everything is set. Now I am good, ready to go live. Now to go live, you need a video feed. What am I going to do? Let me take the same live feed which you are seeing now onto this uh, device. It's already here for me. It's an HDMI connection. Okay, right. I can, there's a small screen here and I can see myself there. The live feed has already come in here. Two options to go live. I can use the one on the screen, the button here to say go live or I can press the switch once and you will go live. So when you are out on the field, you have to do this either on the laptop or on your mobile phone. There are no apps for this device till now. You have to go to the website only, sign in, and then do this configuration. Even if it's on the phone, you have to do that and go live using the go live button here or the one push button here. Alternatively, you can ask your backup team 
to do this configuration. Once they configure your uh, destination, your graphics and everything, once they are ready to go, you will actually start seeing this wherever you are on the field, you will start seeing this live view on your screen. You can press this and go live straight away or ask your team to do it. In this case, I am going to say go live here. Right, streaming started successfully. Now, I refresh my uh, FB profile. Yup, here we are. I can enlarge this to full screen. Your live interactions will keep happening here while you are looking at a very high quality video. It's the same if I want to use uh, a DSLR. If I am kind of vlogging outside, take a connection, feed it in and uh, you will be live. And if you have a switcher, obviously you can, uh, the output cable, this output ha will have to come from the switcher. Then you will have multiple uh, camera angles available for your live streaming. So you saw how easy it is to sign up, register your product and set up a live streaming using the Go Solo Live U. While we were setting up you know, we had to go through two, three rounds of interactions with our uh, tech support team to get online initially. And uh, we could not really find a video which explains uh, the setting up process in detail. So we thought we will create one even at the risk of being a long, boring one. One thing I forgot to mention was that uh, the input. This one has an HDMI input. Now there is another model which has both HDMI and SDI input, which is their top of the line product. So now, who is this for? Well, it definitely is not for everyone and definitely is not for someone who's happy with a mobile phone, who's looking for cheap solutions. It will benefit someone who really values quality, quality interaction with the community great presentation, you want to accurately convey something to you. So I would say this is definitely for a setup like ours because we are photographers. So we value the quality of the image. So definitely it's for us. Who else? Someone who's uh, vlogging, a serious vlogger on location wants to you know, travel vlogger who wants to show a beautiful location, very precise manner to his uh, audience. One, temples and places of worship who wants to telecast the worship, the whole process of worshiping live to their devotees, big uh, gatherings, conferences, weddings. That's a big market these days. You know, there are lots of your friends and families who cannot really attend the uh, event or the function can sit wherever they are and watch the wedding, the whole ceremony in a closed group because you have control on, uh, you know, deciding who uh, watches that live stream. So this is for those people for whom quality really matters. Bye for now.